The Air Day Sling 2 is a four and a half liter sling that's designed to carry your everyday essentials. And it's made with the same high quality components and materials as the Air Travel Pack 2, one of our highest rated packs. Hi, I'm Nathan from Pack Hacker, where we use our expertise and real world experience to provide practical resources and honest opinions, guiding you towards smarter travel. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. We've been testing the Air Day Sling 2 for just over a month now around Detroit, Michigan. So let's dive into the review and find out how well it performed. Opinions on slings are pretty divided, but there's definitely been a surge in popularity recently. And we like the sleek, minimal and streamlined look of this Air Day Sling too. We decided to throw this out to our Instagram audience as well to get their take on it, and here are the results. And while we went with the black color of this sling, it's also available in gray and black camo too. There's certainly no crazy colors to choose from, which isn't typically Air's style anyway, but it's nice to have three different options. And just a note on the colors, the only difference between them is that the black and the gray colors are made from a 1680D Cordura Ballistic Nylon, and the black camo is made from a 1000D Cordura Nylon. And as always, Air has kept their branding on the outside of the pack pretty minimal with just a logo tab on the side, and a black on black imprint on the zipper pulls. And now moving into the materials, the Air Day Sling 2 is made of the same water resistant and highly durable Cordura nylon, YKK zippers and Duraflex buckles as the Air Travel Pack 2, which as we stated earlier on, is one of our highest rated packs. YKK are a Japanese manufacturer that are renowned for making some of the best zippers around, and we've only ever had good experiences with Duraflex buckles that are easy to use and pretty durable too. Plus, Cordura grade fabric is assured to be highly durable and built to last. The bottom line is these materials just feel good in your hand and everything works together really well. Now you could argue that the thick material and the kind of chunky components used are a little bit over specced for what is a sling under five liters, but we appreciate the durability that comes with it. First of all, it's important to note that this thing is a sling and is designed to be carried as such across your body, either on your back or your front. It cannot be worn as a hip belt and isn't designed to be used as one. The overall carry of the Air Day Sling is comfortable and the length of the strap is easily adjustable so you can have it sitting as high or as low as you'd like. And we really like the elastic fastener on the strap, which keeps everything together to create a dangle free experience. We found the best way to wear this sling is crossbody along the wearer's back, swinging it around to your front if you need to get anything out. But if you're wearing a backpack on your back, you can also wear this on the front and it works really well as a dual carry option. Moving on, there are two lash tabs on the front so you can clip items to the sling. Obviously with this being a sling, you can't throw anything too large or bulky on, but we found this was a great place to attach a hero clip and it actually worked really well in testing as we were able to easily hang this thing up on tables when we were out and about. Finally, there is a looped handle on the top which you can use to hang this sling up when you don't have a hero clip attached. And also you can use it to pick this thing up. But to be honest, usually this thing is slim enough so you can just grab it with your hand. Now it's time to look inside this thing and let's start with the pocket on the front. Inside, there are two stretchy divider pockets at the back and then there's plenty of space in the front for larger items. This pocket is the easiest to access quickly, so we popped our wallet and keys in the stretchy divider pockets, and then a pair of sunglasses just in front. Next up, we have the main compartment, which you'll be happy to hear can fit a Nintendo Switch or an iPad mini. There is a large sleeve at the back of the compartment that's the width and height of the sling designed to hold those tablets. Then just in front, there's a zippered pocket that we found good for holding coins and other smaller items. There's also a key clip inside here, but it's plastic and we prefer to keep our keys in the front for quicker access anyway. 
Just in front of that zippered compartment, we have two stretchy divider pockets, exactly the same as the ones you'll find in the front pocket here. And inside these ones in the main compartment, we put our power bank and also some earphones. And then there's plenty of space in front of those dividers for larger objects, which is a great place to put your phone. Finally, there's a hidden compartment at the back, which is a great place to keep items you wanna keep secure. Now there's no internal organization in here, it's just a large compartment, but it's a great place to put your passport. With three separate compartments and multiple divider pockets inside this thing, it's hard to argue that there isn't plenty of organization. But what we will say is that we'd like to have seen the sizes of the pockets just a little bit more diversified, because there's really only two sizes. There's the full length ones, which stretch the height and the width of the sling. And then there's the half divider pockets that go halfway across the width. Now we'd love to see just like a couple of smaller pockets in a compartment so you can keep smaller items, more organized. But other than that, it's all good here. At the time of this review, we've been testing the Air Day Sling 2 for a little over a month around Detroit, Michigan, and on a day trip to Ann Arbor. We're pleased to report that there's no sign of any wear and tear as of yet, and we expect this thing with its durable materials and high quality components to hold up for a long time, just like the other Air products we've tested. When we first started using this sling, we struggled to fill it out with just a phone, a wallet, and some keys in but after just a few days of use, we found ourselves putting a ton of stuff inside, like sunglasses, earphones, and a power bank. And all in all, we've really enjoyed carrying our everyday essentials in this sling when we don't need a larger pack, which is exactly what this thing is designed to do. Now, moving on to the pros and cons, we're digging the sleek and minimal style. Durable materials and components have been used throughout, and it's even large enough to hold smaller tablets like an iPad mini or a Nintendo Switch. Now the cons, the internal organization is all the same size. It's not the lightest sling, but it's also not too heavy either. And the key clip is plastic, which we're not big fans of, and it could certainly be more robust. The Air Day Sling 2 does exactly what it's designed to do, which is carry your everyday essentials when you're out and about. It's comfortable to wear and there's a ton of room with plenty of organization, even if the sizes aren't that varied. The materials and components could be considered slightly over the top, but we appreciate the high durability and quality feel that comes with it. If you're looking for a sleek and stylish sling, that will likely become your go-to way to carry your everyday smaller items, that would typically fill up your pockets otherwise, the Air Day Sling 2 is a great product that's worth a look. So there you have it, our review of the Air Day Sling 2. And as ever, we'd love to hear your thoughts on this thing in the comments section below. Thanks for keeping it here at Pack Hacker, your guide to smarter travel. We'll see you in the next one.